Clap. The five greatest mysteries of the internet. From time traveling soldiers making contact to perplexing recruitment methods looking for the smartest people on earth. Join us as we investigate the five greatest mysteries of the internet. Number five, web driver torso. Several years ago, a mysterious YouTube channel named Web Driver Torso ripped through the internet causing much speculation. The account posts mainly 11 second videos that consist of blue and red patterns that appear randomly across the screen. To date, there have been more than 370,000 videos added to the account, all of which are very bizarre, making little to no sense. The internet went crazy with many speculating that the account was used by spies as some kind of communication. Others thought it was aliens making contact. Months went by as people tried deciphering the bizarre patterns until Google put an end to the madness, announcing that it's actually just a test account used to assess video quality. However, not before spectacularly rickrolling the entire internet with a statement that mimicked Rick Astley's famous lyrics, as well as uploading this footage to the account. Number 4. John Titor With the power of hindsight, this one is no longer that mysterious, but it is fascinating. In the year 2000, a man going by the name John Titor started posting in-depth discussions in a number of forums, claiming he was a time traveler from the year 2036. He said he was an American soldier sent back to 1975 to retrieve an IBM 5100 to debug some legacy coding from his current time period. It was later revealed by IBM engineer Bob Dubka that the 5100 model can actually emulate and debug mainframe systems, a feature that was little known by the public at that time. Coincidence? I think not! Titor claimed to be making a stopover in the year 2000 to meet some old friends and to warn as many people as he could about an impending civil war. He posted schematics for a time travel device and made some outlandish predictions about World War III breaking out in 2015, all the while making his claims unfalsifiable by stating that he was from an alternate universe so that history may not pan out the way he said it will. How convenient. Number 3. A858 this one is current and very mysterious. It's a series of perplexing codes that began appearing on Reddit in 2011. No one knows for certain what it all means, but it has been fertile ground for some over-the-top conspiracy theories. Some believe it's a number station broadcasting messages to spies around the world. Others claim it's a private security firm looking to recruit talented cryptologists. And of course, some think it's aliens. Many believe A858 is a bot because of the pinpoint accuracy of the postings. The posts are typically in hexadecimal form, which means they range from 0 to 9 A to F. During a Reddit AMA with W95, who was later confirmed through the A858 account as being legitimate, it was revealed that the initiative is part of a larger organization, claiming they are the good guys, not part of any terrorist organization. They've confirmed that they're not Google, Apple, or Microsoft, but that's where the solid info ends. No one has been able to solve this mystery or give it any semblance of meaning. There is an entire subreddit of nearly 10,000 people dedicated to unlocking the enigma of A858. Number 2. The Markovian Parallax Denigrate This is one of the oldest and most intriguing internet mysteries. Back in 1996, users of Usenet, which is a non-centralized sort of crude form of the internet, began getting bombarded by bizarre nonsensical walls of text. Hundreds of these messages flooded Usenet discussion groups, sparking intense discussion about their possible meaning and origin. Many conspiracy theories began, citing that the messages could be CIA spies sending cryptic messages. Some of Usenet's brightest minds tried cracking the gibberish text to no avail. 
with little more to run on, the discussion soon died down. Until in 2006 when some keen-eyed bloggers revealed Google's public archive of Usenet had a striking email address attached to the one and only remaining post of the Markovian Parallax denigrate. It belonged to one Susan Lindau, a self-proclaimed CIA asset that was arrested in 2004 after allegedly serving as an agent of Saddam Hussein's government. Once again, conspiracy theories flooded the internet, but now they had some tangible credibility to them. What was the Markovian parallax denigrate? A quick Google search of Susan Lindau reveals that she has a fascinating past. Nicknamed Snowflake, she grew up in Anchorage, Alaska. Her classmates remember her as highly intelligent with a bit of a wild side. An early journalism career saw her develop into a political spokesperson with a string of roles with high up politicians. Her mental health became a problem in her career, however, with colleagues raising concerns over her erratic behavior and mood swings. Lindau claims to have identified a number of terrorist bombings before they happened, as well as a number of assassination attempts on world leaders. She also allegedly warned her brother and a close friend to stay away from New York before 9-11 occurred. Then, in 2012, a reporter from DailyDot.com revealed that a second lady named Susan Lindau was actually the owner of the email address attached to the cryptic messages. However, she denied any knowledge of the Markovian parallax denigrate. This sparked further theories that the Lindau email address was actually used to make political reporter Susan Lindau look delusional, possibly a scapegoat for a far greater cover-up. This is all just conjecture, however, created by perplexed web communities determined to unravel the Markovian parallax denigrate mystery. The most likely theory is that the garbled messages that spammed Usenet nearly 20 years ago were the work of the internet's earliest trolls. Number 1 Cicada 3301 On a scale of 1 to mysterious, this next one is a real noggin scratcher. Cicada 3301 is an enigmatic organization that appears to be deeply embedded in our society, with no listed public information, no leaders, or no obvious agenda. For the last few years, they have been posting perplexing puzzles across the internet in an effort to find highly intelligent individuals. The puzzles are heavily focused on cryptology, data security, and steganography, with elements of fine art and poetry scattered throughout. A crypto security researcher named Joel Erickson is one of the few known people to have solved the first wave of puzzles back in 2012. The epic adventure saw him deciphering images to extract hidden URLs, sift through ancient Mayan numerology and solve riddles to get a phone number in Texas that played a voice recording that led to the next clue. There was even GPS coordinates pointing to physical locations all around the world, revealing posters plastered on walls that required QR scanners to get the next crumb of the puzzle. However, when Ericsson reached the final puzzle deep in the dark web, a message was listed by Cicada 3301 saying that they were disappointed that groups of people had formed to solve the puzzles instead of acting as individuals as Ericsson had actually done. Had Ericsson been a little quicker, he would now know what lies just beyond the final gate. To this day, no one knows what it's all about. Some claim it's a recruitment tool for the CIA or NSA, others claim it's a rogue group of international hackers bent on anarchy, and of course some think it's aliens making contact. Whatever the group's intentions are, the puzzles have gone down as one of the greatest internet mysteries of all time. What on earth is going on with some of these? If you've heard solutions to some of these mysteries, let us know in the comments section below. We'd love to hear them. Why not share this video with your friends and make them equally as perplexed as we are? Remember to hit subscribe because we release new content each and every week. And this is the Schlapp Herm Shining Wolf.